Mm. The word representative is I need someone to represent me. Why did we need representatives to begin with? That's a middleman. Do we like middleman? When you're going to try to go do something, do you like dealing with a middleman? Wouldn't you rather go direct? So the House of Representatives and the Senate, the Senate and the Congress are middlemen. Why do we need that? Well, back to then, we didn't have Internet or telephones or even telegraph. What we had was horse and buggy. So when someone traveled to Washington, it might take them a week or two to get there. They couldn't communicate back to us and ask, what, how do you want me to vote on this? So we elected George, our guy, and said, you go off there, I like you, I trust you, vote what your heart feels and your conscience feels, tell me about it when you come home. Now let me ask you this, if the truth is that we really want power of the people, by the people, for the people, and power to the people, if there's meant to be true democracy, even let's just even try democracy, one vote, one person, why don't we get rid of the House of Representatives and the Senate and give people a vote that they can vote on the Internet, one for yes, two for no. If you don't have the Internet, you can vote on your phone. Push one for yes, two for no. If you don't have a phone, you can do it the old way and do the ballot system. That would be power to the people. This would call the bluff. See, we don't need horse and buggies today. We have instant communication. You could come home, and here would be a law... Someone's proposed a law, and you could say yay or nay, one or two on your computer. I'm, I'm just shaking it up here a little bit. I'm just suggesting if we think outside the box, why do we need representatives? Do you guys like your congressmen? Do we like them? All I hear from people is throw the bums out on their asses. Well, that would be yeah. a great way to do it. Get rid of it. Go direct. No middlemen. Power to the people, government for the people. Do you want, how much do you want to spend? Here's another one, here's another one. When you fill out your IRS forms, which I know a lot of us aren't probably, if you're listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> <They're> <laughs> I file my taxes They're because I play the game. But here's the thing. What if you were allowed to vote with your money? Here's the things that the government's doing. Where do you want to put your taxes? I want to put all my $2,000 I'm paying this year to the war in Iraq. Go for it. I want to put it all towards the education. That's true freedom and a true vote. Allow the people to vote with their money and to vote directly. We can. You can still have the choice. You can say, no, I don't want to vote directly. I want my guy in Washington to, or my woman in Washington to vote for me because I don't know enough about the issues. You then have that choice. You can revoke your vote back to yourself. I'll vote on all the damn issues myself or I'll give it to my representative. More both and more. That's true power of the people. Do you want to legalize marijuana, the American people? Let everybody go home and say one for yes on my computer, two for no. That's true voting. That would be a true vote. Yeah, wow. Amen. I like that. Uh, hold that right there, though. It is that time. Thanks so much for your call, but we will be right back with Tobias Lars. Stay tuned. Truth Brigade Radio. Thanks so much for joining us here tonight. Truth Brigade on AmericanFreedomRadio.com with Tobias Lars tonight talking about, uh, well, why our political system is not working. Is it completely broken? What can we do about it? Um, I see your questions on the chat, and we'll try to get to all of those. But, of course, the best way to get your questions answered is by giving us a call at 402 402- Two three seven two five two five, and that's four zero two AFR twenty five twenty five. But it looks like our caller is still on the line. But uh, Tobias, if you would please continue, I think the break kind of cut you off. I just uh, am I on? Yeah, I am. Um, I just <laughs> want to say so. That last suggestion I had is going to shock so many people, and I understand I'm not naive. It takes time to change. But once the mind hears something, it can't go back. What do we need House of Representatives, Congress, and Senators for? We hate them so much now already, and if the people, I would suggest to the Senators and Congressmen, they should quit. They should say, this is such a thankless job. The people I'm working for hate me so much, I don't want it anymore. You, the people, think you can do a better job. Here's your vote. You vote and figure it out. I'm done. I'm going home to my ranch, you know, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we couldn't blame them as scapegoats, but we'd have to step up and be part of it and be active, you know. Um, 
Yeah. So I know that's a huge one. People can't even imagine it. It takes a long time for things to change. But I would suggest that would be real power to the people. Why not? I vote. Do I want marijuana to be legal? Do I want this or that? Do I want, you know, the, the taxes, my taxes to go there? Right now, you give your money to the government, you know you're throwing it into a big black hole, and God only knows where it ends up. Mm-hmm. What if you could decide where you put the money? Here's all the options where you can write in. I want this money to go to this government program, or I want it to be in the retirement fund for the whole country, or, or whatever, mm-hmm. you know? Or you could opt out of taxes and go, I don't want Medicare, I don't want Medicaid, I don't want Social yeah. Security, I, I will be responsible for that myself. And, you, and then you don't have to, but you don't get it. You you will not get it, no matter if That's you end right. up on the street, you know. But freedom mm-hmm. and freedom to choose is what this original intention for this country was. So maybe we should be heading towards those things. I would love it. Wouldn't you love to, have, to get totally rid of the IRS and just have a, uh, a small part of the government that just carries out. Here's what the people want. They gave $112 million to build roads. That's it. That's all we got. And then if you don't like the roads next time, you'll go, well, I'm going to give some more, you know? Or it's the reality that we are too stupid to govern ourselves, like they like they think. Are the masses asses? Are we too... Is that quote by... Um, what's that quote by Winston Churchill? I'm going to butcher it here, but he says... Um, <clears throat> Giving power to the people, the best argument against giving power to the people is to spend a few minutes with the, the common people and actually having a conversation with them. You know? <laughs> is that true? Winston Churchill. You know, he says basically the best argument against giving the common people power is to have a 15 minute conversation with the common people. So, the masses are asses, is that true? Are we stupid? Are we uneducated? We don't know better. We need to have shepherders taking care of us, otherwise there'd be no roads and all the systems would collapse and blah, blah, blah. We don't know how to govern ourselves. Is that true? Because that's what, that's what the, the elite feels. Basically, 80% of us are too stupid. We don't even know what the electoral college is. We don't even know that how it works. I mean, the fact that we don't even vote for our president. We send these guys, again, the same thing. We send some people that we elected off to Washington, and then they elect the president. Who knows that? Every four years when they have the presidential election, most people are looking there with their stupor eyes on the, on the TV going, I, I don't even know what the Electoral College is. And I'm not making fun of us, but I'm just saying maybe they're right. I'm stirring pot here a little bit. Maybe they're right. Maybe the sheeple are too stupid to govern themselves. Oh, maybe but we, are, do we really maybe need we... that to have, I mean, a fully functioning society. Do we need, we need what? Do we need an electoral college or any to have a, a fully functioning society? I of mean, I course don't think not. So. Of course not. The electoral college, even on the you know the Democrat, the, the Democratic Republic or the the media pundits will bring it up every election and go, "Is the electoral college outdated?" But it gets no traction because nobody knows what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, that that was done again because. We don't know who should be president. Why don't I tell you, Harry, George, you know, John, go off there and decide amongst the men who you think should be the best president. I trust you. Because that's how it was done the first few elections when there was no communication. No TV, no radio, no telegraph. It was not even the Pony Express hadn't been invented. That was a hundred years later, you know. So it was so, so slow that we needed the Electoral College. It is an old artifact. It's like those ridiculous laws you hear about once in a while. It's illegal to walk your giraffe down the street of, you know, some little town in mid-America. These ridiculous laws on the books. We have these re- thing, outdated ways of dealing with things. I suggest one person, one vote. Do it over the Internet. Do it over the phone. And if you don't trust yourself, you can say, no, here's my representative, and we can keep the House of Representatives. Keep it the way it is. But let's pass something that says, I will vote on things because I'm retired and I have all the time in the world or whatever, or I feel I can think for myself. Certainly here, this one, how can we argue with this one? A proposition, democracy. Someone puts a proposition on the ballot, national proposition you know and then we all vote on it here here's where we're calling our own bluff 
or do we enjoy bitching and moaning? We enjoy sending the demons off to, to, to be part of the government, right? Mm -hmm. Again, I would say 20% of the people in government, I would suggest, are good-hearted. They're trying to do the right thing. 80% are there for the money and the fame and the hookers, you know, <laughs> and, and living off the people. They're vampires. I'd say 80% of politicians are vampires, 20% of good hearts, and, trying, and they're being deluged, and finally they give up and move home, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we want to bitch and moan that, oh, look at how evil they are. But I don't want to do anything about it. I, I, don't even, I don't want to deal with any of it. I just want to bitch and moan how bad they are. Well, if you're bitching and moaning, you're adding nasty crap to the soup. That big kettle that the witches are boiling, you're adding some toads and some nasty poisons every time you only bitch and moan. Telling the truth, yes. But mm -hmm. stepping up and taking responsibility, taking yeah. charge, speaking out, then you're participating. So are we smart enough to govern ourselves yet? Or do we still need people to tell us what to do? <laughs> I think we could, yes and no, right? Yeah. <laughs> some of us maybe, some of us maybe not. Um, yeah. Did you have anything to add, uh, caller? Yes, I do. Uh, I just want to uh, inter interject that there's four forms of government. There's first and foremost self-government, second family government, and you may disagree with this. I would say church government or, you know, spirituality and then uh, civil government because, you know, we're, we're, we're going about doing our thing and, you know, we want, we want protection. We want our rights protected, but we want to go about doing our daily chores and not have to be concerned with, uh, you know, the, the quote unquote terrorists coming in and, you know, terrorizing us. You know, so we, we would delegate that, that job to the sheriff, which is lawful. Right on. So, so our caller here is suggesting, yes, I, I would, and maybe you would like to elect a representative that would then vote on your behalf in the government. That's great. No, no, I, 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 I suggest that the people get to vote on a local level into the county Form, form assemblies, out of the assemblies come grand juries, and the, out of the grand juries come indictments to go and uh, put the sheriffs on notice, put the county uh, commissioners on notice, let them know that we're, we know that they're operating in fraud, and they can turn from their weak ways and, and re-embrace the jour, or they will be held accountable for treason. Okay, but aren't what they already doing. committing treason? I mean, who's going to hold them accountable? If somebody was going to do that, the system is already in place to do that. So how are we going to be able no. to get the system to finally cut off one of their arms or fingers or elbows or toes? It's, it's uh, you know, I just don't. How about this? Here's a radical idea. How about let's all take control of ourselves and instead of looking to be controlled elsewhere, govern, control government, to the mind, why don't we take responsibility for ourselves and not depend on any of that? Well, uh, who's going to take care of the widows and orphans? Who's going to protect the innocent and defend the defenseless? Who is? Nobody is already. <laughs> Who I is? understand, and that's why we got to get back to that. The people are so, have I mean, been so protected. Pressured. Who protects us from anything? I mean, you know, you can call the cops and have them file some paperwork afterwards. But I mean, no, the cops, cops the police when have operating they ever prevented the a child or, or anyone from being raped, or when have they ever prevented somebody from being murdered? I mean. You know, and I'm sorry, the cops never helped me. I still got raped. I still got shot. I, I you know, and and millions, billions of other people as well. So, right. I mean, and that, why, and that goes back to are we going to have to a family and the community take care of ourselves and don't rely on other people to come save us? That, I agree. Call nine one one and die. No, you you uh, <laughs> you take a second amendment. And you keep it close to you, so when force is uh, exerted against you, you have the ability to resist. Right on. I think we agree on that. So, primarily, government is a last resort. You know, it's sort of like we had a homeless person come by the house here the other day, and I think I probably helped him more in a sense, or could help him more, than some big agency that's supposed to do things for him. So, 
that us doing it direct with less middlemen in between seems to work the best. 